Hello there and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do the part two of these skills. We're going to talk specifically about what skills you should get when it comes to having a sniper rifle. Now, very first thing that we're going to look at is these are your sniper rifles. All of your sniper rifles are in this section and there's various different types of sniper rifles. The skills that we will cover today will go in effect with all of these snipers that you see in front of your screen right now. There are a few sniper rifles that are not in this category, but this is the main category once again for the sniper rifles. You will find some in the special section here. There's a few. You have the North Light, which is a sniper rifle. You have the DSR-1 MK2, which is also a sniper rifle, and the Kill Tech, which is also a sniper rifle. And last but not least, we have the Embol. This one is a great sniper rifle. So all of the skills that we will cover will go into effect these sniper rifles. Let's get right into it. So we're going to start on this side and when we go over to the skills and I talked about this in the previous video, I went over all the common skills and the skills that pretty much affect all of your weapons and all your equipments in general. Check out the link in the description below. Check out that video. It is very important. We're going to go to the sniper section because this is where we're going to focus in on four sniper rifles. Now, the very first one you see increases accuracy by 10 percent while moving in zoom in state. This one is not specifically for sniper rifles, but you should definitely get it for sniper rifles. Now, I'm going to back up one more time. Just a reminder, these skills, make sure you check out the link in the description below because you need these, right? Increases damage by 10% imperative. Increases the fire rate by 10% imperative. Outside of those common ones, you have the sniper rifle ones. This one increases only when you're moving while being zoomed in. So if you're moving and you're not zoomed in, it will not go into effect. Accuracy is pretty much the stability of the weapon, allowing it to stay a little bit more in control rather than all that shaking and all that movement. So this one is very important. We're going to look at the next one. This one increases the movement speed by 10% with the sniper rifle. It is so important, very important because most of the time and with most sniper rifles, you're probably camping. If you've seen my videos, I camp a lot, but even with the sniper rifle, I will go at close combat. I will snipe in port. I will snipe in Havana. I will snipe in every map out there and I'm not necessarily always camping, but that movement speed is so important when you're running, especially if you're a camper, you're running from the left side of the map to the right side of the map or from one corner to another, that speed will really help you out. Next one increases the damage by 20% while moving in a crouching state. This one you can use strategically because it increases your damage by 20%. That's a lot, especially with the damage that are inf is inflicted by sniper rifles. Let's say your sniper rifle does a thousand damage. I know there's no sniper rifle that does that, but for easy math, a thousand damage on a sniper rifle, 20% of that is 200. Now you have 1,200 damage now here's the key component of that you have to move in a crouch state so that's a very good and a good strategy to have maybe in siberia it's a very good place to have it right there uh tanusha very good as well those big maps move with a crouch state and you'll get that additional 20 percent this one is general right we talked about in the previous video this one applies to every single weapon all armors regardless of what you're using aiming speed time reduced by 0.3 seconds it doesn't seem like a lot right 0.3 it's not even a second right we're talking about milliseconds at this point it makes a difference believe me you feel that difference and that those milliseconds <laughs> could be the difference between life and death or win and defeat so yes these are important make sure you get those and again i covered in the previous video but for those of you guys that have not seen it there are three stages to each of these most of these have three stages make sure that you do unlock all those three stages because it begins to help each one as you continue to move on increases the damage by 50 percent look at that over one shot time per lifetime with a sniper rifle type weapon this one's very very important and it's so great increases damage by 50 percent that's what and i see it quite often even now especially with how strong the mk14 14 is all these people are saying hacker hacker you killed me with two shots well you have this skill <laughs> i mean you're going 
and you're getting an additional 50 percent right that, that's huge so you're going over a thousand nobody has a thousand armor right uh, or a thousand health i mean in combination both together but two shots could essentially take you out so important that you do get that increase the reload speed by 50 percent now imagine you combine this and i do recommend if you're a sniper rifle user that you use the combat gloves it increases your reload speed by 30 percent now you're looking at 80 percent reload speed let's say you decide to combine it with another helmet that increases the reload speed by 10 percent right you see that now you're at 90 percent reload speed that's huge it's very important this one right here is on this on the sniper section but this one pertains specifically for a pistol so you won't go over that one this one 30 percent chance this one is so important please get this one 30 percent chance to ignore damage prevention with a sniper type weapon okay all, most of you guys know already in this current update and in most of the time it's been notorious that the sniper armor is the best armor and it's because of this skill right here damage prevention over one hit basically what that means is that if i shoot you twice you won't get hit by the second one or you might not get hit by the you, yeah, you won't get hit by the second one and moving forward you only get hit with one bullet out of the two and then this one right here what it does is it there's a 30 percent chance in your game that the player that you just shot will avoid that have you hit a, a person who's using the sniper armor and their health doesn't drop nothing or you're using the sniper armor and your health doesn't drop at all it's because of the damage prevention this will help avoid that 30 percent chance and it's not just one time throughout the entire game you can have it numerous times if you're throwing shot every time you throw a bullet you have a 30 percent chance that that bullet will ignore the damage prevention and you'll kill your enemy very very fast this one we talked about in the previous one this is general to all weapons to all equipment not just a sniper rifle it also talked about this one increases the damage by 50 percent imperative even more important right when you're using the sniper rifle so important damage by 50 percent over five seconds right imagine you get that in combination with the other that's insane this one pertains to all the weapons everything you're wearing but it is in the sniper section because it hides your presence on the mini map from other players i often see people that don't have this skill because i look at my mini map all the time even when i'm in a squad of five versus five and I constantly there is that one or two guy don't be that one guy <laughs> that is visible in the mini map and all your enemies know where you are buy this skill so that people don't know where you are it doesn't give your presence away especially if you're camping somewhere and the enemy the enemy hasn't seen you don't give your presence away i talked about this one it's super important and we're going to move on to the other ones as well because there are other ones that will help you in that state as well you have this one do not get this <laughs> i have this skill in I can tell you that many people regret it. Now, it's okay if you only unlock one stage because it'll only go up, I believe, it only goes up by 20%. So increases the zoom factor by 20% is better than 60. Because the problem is at 60%, it is very zoomed in, very zoomed in. So what I do, what I just mentioned that I use my sniper rifle on port, it's very zoomed in because it's such a small map. So therefore, if you have not purchased it, don't do it i suggest just 20 percent. you'll be tempted by to do it the second time 40 percent. okay but stop there <laughs> and you'll be tempted the third time because the third time what it does is increases the rate of fire by five percent and it's very tempting but don't do it <laughs> just don't do it now another thing with the sniper rifles as well we don't have anything here except if you are a demo mod user although if you're using a sniper rifle i don't really recommend it but if you are this one will help you out if you open up the three stages it increases your armor damage up up in the militia death so when it explodes it, it increases the damage by 300 percent that, that's insane that's huge right that's why many times you'll kill somebody it's like you're a suicide bomber right <laughs> and you take them that with you but if you're using a sniper rifle I, I would highly recommend that you don't do this unless you are one of those strategic guys it might help out bring the mk14 with demo mon armor into point capture and start shooting people and move closer to them as you're shooting them rather than camp from afar and that could essentially really help out one bullet the person usually dies with two or three you might take them out with that explosion but it's completely up to you i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> now uh you hear me say this right <laughs> speed is life it's very important that you do get this one as well 
and you have this one which also increases your movement speed this one if you're a sniper user you're probably going to be sniped as well i highly recommend it decreases decreases incoming damage by 30 percent if you open all three stages so it is very important that you get this one as well and in combination with that one you also have this one here which will reduce the damage inflicted by a sniper rifle by 10 percent so this is what i recommend that you get for sniper rifle users now again check out the link in the description because i do recommend that you get more skills than other ones i showed you now if you're only going to be a sniper user right then focus on those skills don't be that guy that comes over here and starts buying things for machine guns like this one here if you're not using a machine gun don't buy that skill you don't need that skill now i have all the skills i've been playing this game for a long time and before those daily missions that you do right the daily mi missions that you get over in the home screen you go here and you have different missions to complete before these missions used to force you to use a machine gun it would say kill 50 players with a machine gun or kill 20 players with a pistol so i was forced to come over here and get all these skills <laughs> so i did that because i was playing with a machine gun but if you are not a machine gun user don't come in here and buy machine guns don't waste your gold don't waste your credits save them let's say you move on from being a sniper user to an assault rifle person then we can move on and to start purchasing these skills that are specifically for assault rifles that will just come in next by the way so do me a favor hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell we got tons of new videos coming for you support us share this video with your friends share it with your family share it with your sister your brother share it with the world <laughs> just help us out We'll see you in the next one.